I know y'all are ready to know all about this video. We're going in the trenches today, getting down and dirty. We're talking about water samples today. Well, Lee Well Services back at you. Thanks for watching. Uh, coming back at you with a video suggested by you, the viewers. Um, I've had this one in my brain for a while. I've been wanting to do it. Obviously, I've been getting busy, been losing track of time and getting older, and working harder, playing less. Y'all know how all that goes. Um, but appreciate appreciate, appreciate y'all watching our videos. Um, you know, I've been wanting to do this for a while and I actually got a message uh, the other day from a viewer that was uh, want, wanting a video on this and, you know, kind of brought it up. So it prompted me to do it. So, you know, feel free to drop us a comment on uh, any, any other suggestions you may have. So again, this video is going to be strictly on where to take a water sample when testing your well or when testing your well water. We will have videos coming up in the future about what can we test for, how can we test it, uh, what should you be looking for. Um, those are going to be videos coming up in the future. Be sure to stay tuned for that. But for now, we're just strictly talking about where to take a sample. And yes. I know the first inclination is going to be go to the kitchen sink. This is where you drink your water from, you know, you're, you're washing dishes. Obviously, this is our little sink here in our office. Uh, most of you have a kitchen sink that's bigger than that. Uh, but the first inclination to think of is you got a well, where do I take a water sample? Best place to take it is at the kitchen sink. No, that's not correct. Um, there's always a bunch of bacteria that can hang out, you know, in these nozzles, in the, in the aerators, you know, there's bacteria around the sink itself. Um, this is going to give you a false negative. Can't tell you how many times that, you know, we have people that are buying new houses or just randomly testing their water. They give us a call. Hey, our water sample came back bad. It came back with coliform bacteria and we had, the first thing I always ask people is where did you take the sample? About nine, nine out of ten times, it's I took it at the kitchen sink. Best place to take a water sample for a well is as close to the well as you can get it. I know in our state, or both of the states that we work on, South Carolina, North Carolina, they require you for any type of new well to have a sample spigot at the top of the well head. That's what these spigots are for, is to get a water sample. So our recommendation is to get a sample from the sample spigot at your wellhead. That is closest to the pump. That is going to give you the best reading and the most absolute and true reading of what's in your well water, if anything. This is going to be true for bacteria, iron, pH, anything. It makes sense, right? You want to have the cleanest sample. You don't want to have anything that could affect your test results. So that's the number one biggest thing on where and how to take a water sample. If you don't get anything else, if you just tune out of this video and turn it off, even if you don't smash the thumbs up button, which I hope you do, we appreciate that. That makes the YouTube algorithm and myself happy. I'll be sure to smash that and keep us going. But the number one thing I'll try to drive home to everybody is take the sample out at the well. If you don't have a stick it out at the well or somewhere to somewhere to take a sample, you know, take it as close as you can. You know, and obviously I've, I've kind of brought up before, you know, you get it, you get a false reading from a test in the kitchen because there's bacteria in this nozzle. Okay, well, you don't want to be taking a sample with a garden hose attached. It can have bacteria in it, you know, 
if your spigot has an aerator in it, you want to remove that before you're taking it. Uh, what I always recommend, or when I'm taking a water sample, you know, we always have a little torch on the truck. I'll come up in here and just, you know, heat the, heat the end of the spigot very lightly to disinfect anything that's been in there. You know, obviously you don't want to take something and stick it way up close to the end or you'll, you know, end up m melting the internal components of your spigot and replacing the spigot, which you don't want to do. So take the spigot out, take the sample out at the well, disinfect the spigot or wherever you're taking the spigot at to ensure that there's nothing out on the spigot that can give you a false reading. That's number two. And then number three, this is another reason why I recommend taking this, the sample out at the well. Obviously, you don't want to just crack the spigot and take the sample. No, you want to let that spigot run for a couple minutes. Ensure the pump's on. Ensure the pump is pumping water from your well. You know, ensure that every, obviously everything's going to be working right, but it's easier, most times when you're out at the well, you can tell when the pump kicks on a whole lot better than you can inside the house. So that's another reason for taking the sample out at, out at the well. Ensure your pump's on, ensure your pump is delivering water from your well. Um, I, you, know, you can argue that it's doing that when, when it's not on, but still, you want to get the most accurate reading that you can. And then number four, be sure to take it in a certified bottle. Um, you know, most labs won't even take a sample if you don't have it in one of their bottles. You know, they have these nice little lines here that tells you how, to, how far to fill it up. You know, you got a label on here, you can put the date, when it was taken, name, address, that kind of stuff. Um, you know, don't go grab your Gatorade bottle and wash it out and take a, take a sample in there. Um, which I had to learn the hard way too. But, you know, best, best thing to do is go up to the local health department or to a certified lab in your area, you know, get, get a couple bottles or call your local well driller if you're wanting to get a sample yourself i'm sure uh you know they have some as well we we have a lot of these at our office um, too so appreciate the suggestion out there uh you know these are these are four things that will save you a lot of headache of you know waiting for the test results you get the test results back hey why why do i have coliform bacteria nobody's working on my well what's going on is there something wrong and then you go take another sample and it, and it doesn't show it. So, you know, just, just save yourself some time and be sure to do it right the first time. Um, you know, I'm gonna get into a little bit more later on about how frequently should you take a sample. Uh, you know, typ typically, unless you're breaking the seal on the well or if you have problems with your well anyways, you know, you don't really need to take a sample that often unless you're wanting to, you know, verify that your water treatment system is working properly. Oh, and uh, yeah, I forgot about that actually. Another advantage of taking the, taking the sample out here at the well is you're obviously going to be taking it before any water treatment uh, systems in your house might be treating your water. I know that's kind of self-intuitive, but just want to throw that out there too. So thanks for watching. I uh, hope I gave you some helpful tips out there about where to take a sample at. You know, it's it's a well and wells are different, but the concept's still the same. You know, these little these simple trips, simple tips can help you get the uh, most most effective results and the and the best results, so you can determine if you have a problem or if you don't have a problem, which which we hope you don't. So be, be sure to stay tuned in the future. We're going to have uh, more videos coming up for you about what to test, what should safe levels be for some things that can be, be in your water like iron, pH, manganese, sulfur, that kind of stuff. So thanks for watching. Check us out, WendellyWellServices.com. Be sure to subscribe to us. Stay tuned. We always, we're busy, but we always got stuff coming back out there for you and you, the viewers, do a very good job of staying in touch and giving, giving us ideas of videos to make, which we always appreciate that. We always appreciate your comments. So keep them coming. We'll keep them coming too. Appreciate it.